Hi, welcome to another exciting installment of me drawing in my sketchbook. I've had a few questions lately since I've been posting my um, sketchbook pages online about how I colour and all that sort of stuff, so I thought I would do a quick video on it as I have done previously. Um, just a quick brief here. I just have a standard, what's his derwent visual art dog? I really don't have a particular favourite, I just pick whichever one's about is about six dollars, eight dollars, something like that. Um, as you can see, drawn in it. Uh, I, th I find the more I draw in it, probably the better I draw with my other work. Um, this stuff I've posted recently. All used, all usually done with um, Copic. That was a bit of watercolour I did last night more Copic. Also another important thing before you start is to make sure you're, if you're using a sketchbook is to have a page behind it otherwise it will bleed through as you can see there. I've done that a few times and it is really annoying. Anyway, I've already sketched a couple of drawings here and I'll add to it a bit later on tonight. Um, I'm going to colour in his little monster on roller skates. And there's a bird I've done before. I haven't cleaned him up yet but um, I will endeavour to do so. So I've got the Copic markers, the big thick ones. I also use, which are a bit cheaper, the Pro markers sometimes. The thinner Copic markers. I've got a little stash here in a in a box but I usually use similar colours, blues, reds, that kind of stuff. So I'm going to quickly colour this guy in. What's this one called? Purple, violet, whatever. Does it really matter, Aaron? I don't think so. So here we go. Someone, Alex, I think, asked me recently on Twitter if I make mistakes. And to be honest, I hadn't really thought about it. Um... I don't really worry about it, only because you're bound to make mistakes. You can see I've gone over the lines here a little bit, but um, if I worry too much about that, I wouldn't do it in the first place, so best not to worry about it. I usually draw and colour these in later at night when I'm watching TV. It just sort of helps to unwind. I find it quite relaxing for the most part. I just usually draw silly little things like this guy and kind of practice maybe what I'd like to do but haven't sort of. Like I've been drawing people in my sketchbooks more and I'm not really um, fond of drawing people. I like drawing animals and silly things like boobs and belly buttons and stuff like that. So it's always good to experiment with what you usually wouldn't draw with and of course you have to even that out with drawing what you want to you know what you like to draw as well otherwise it's sort of um it's not too fun otherwise anyway so this guy it looks a little bit blotchy but he looks all right I'm going to do a red nose using the pro marker quite bright. I might leave like a little um a little glowy piece of white there on his nose. It's all um fairly simple really, it's just about experimenting um with them, which is always fun to do. I sound like I'm having fun, don't I? a little bit of shadow under his nose. It's bleeding a little bit because I don't know if you can see it, but it's bleeding a bit because um, the lighter red's still fairly um, wet underneath. What colour should his horns be? I think a yellow. Yeah. This is a nice yellow. You have to be careful with finding yellow. So a lot of them will be too light and just look um, like they've been sitting in the sun for too long, which is never a nice look, I don't think. 
I'm gonna get a little bit of a darker purple and just make ooh, make some shadows around, like under his bosoms, around his belly button and stuff like that. Again, not really thinking too much. Maybe because I've done this a lot, I don't know. But um, I'm just sort of again finding a light source and just putting a bit of shadow on him. I've also been using the Copix play for about. Um, maybe seven years I'm not sure but um, it's been a while and I ink these in with the Faber-Castell brush pens or just the uni pen depending if it's smaller work I'll use the finer fine liners and I've been using them for about the same period I think just putting some shadow under his um, <laughs> And he's, oh, I keep forgetting I'm filming this too because I'm um, drawing with one hand and filming with the other. It's a little bit tricky. So, anyway, just a little bit of shadow on him. Sort of makes him pop a little bit more, I think. I um, was always afraid to roller skate when I was younger. Surprise, surprise to anyone who knows me. I'm not um, an overly brave person. My sister used to have roller skates white ones like these except they're now blue and we used to put our guinea pigs in them and um, <laughs> roll them down a hill I'm not sure if that was very good for the guinea pigs but they um, they survived tough love hey just looking in my um, in my box also these are little um, there's Lewis he usually sits beside me when I'm drawing don't you? hey? He's silly. Anyway, um, might do a little bit of shading here on the horns. This is like, an, this is like a really bright tree because uh, I've run out of orange in the Copix. This makes it sort of pop a bit. And I'll just do his eyes now. So I think the eyes always sort of bring the character to life. That, that may be a bit of um, wank that I've read, I don't know. I believe it though. Sometimes wank is um, good wank. Anyway, not sure where I'm going there. So, I think that's about done. I'll just colour this little cloud in. And a bit later on tonight, I'll continue drawing more around him but it's just a quick little view with how I do the Copics fairly basic, fairly simple don't stress about it too much if you're new to Copics or or whatever actually he needs a bit of shadow under his big his big honker And there you go. There you have it. I'm too lazy to walk. I feel like there's many times walking in the city when I don't want to walk anymore. I wish for a pair of uh, roller skates to magically appear and to wheel me off to my destination. Maybe with a pink milkshake in my hand like this guy's got. Or Sunday, whatever it is. I've gone out the lines here a little bit, but um. I don't know, I don't think it looks too bad. I don't know. 